online ecosystem, our new economy has been growing and, ha- and you know, has been growing quickly. And I think uh, a lot of us, including myself, have been surprised at the speed at which this new economy has grown. Uh, and I'm frankly extremely excited about it. But at the same time, uh, we realize that as this new economy starts to kick in and the offline jo behavior hai, your online aane lagta hai, jitne bhi startups and jitne bhi organizations and banks now that you name it that are creating additional footprints online ye sare ab interconnect ho rahe hain interconnect ho rahe hain the speed of growth of this online economy is going to grow very quickly and there are going to be a lot of people who are going to be able to be connected and serve so this is the premise of everything that you know i've been doing or that i think and i'm seeing right now so with this with this reasoning that you know a substantial piece of this existing economy the online economy is going to start to move to this new economy or jab ye change hoga there's going to be disruption there's going to be opportunity and uh when we talk about disruption you know what i like to think of disruption is positive disruption i'm not a big fan of disruption where you take um a huge ecosystem of like say a million employed individuals and you just completely wipe them out with a new uh platform that's doing the same thing but perhaps more efficiently because then you're stuck with this uh like a talent pool a labor pool an ecosystem that now you have to re reabsorb and so a lot of what i've been doing whether you look at rosy or now rosgar the Jew, the the blue collar jobs platform that we launched uh from rosy which is now including financial services for blue collar workers which is growing very quickly taking that to rosy and to empowerment of individuals the dukan model actually jumps right in there as well um a lot of you know about uh finja uh, another fintech that uh, i'm very very closely involved in and co-founded and the experiences there have been very encouraging where we've been able to now reliably give unsecured loans based on data to over 50000 you know stores and growing very quickly and that has also been another data point that's factored into all of this and where everything is going it's a very exciting place by the way right now kyunki sab kuch ab uh online ho sakta and you can give opportunity to pieces of the ecosystem that never had access to opportunity before in this way like the blue collar workers like the kriana shop who's now the hero of this ecosystem like the distributor like um a doctor or a field worker ye sab ab is tarah ke tools aa gaye hain aur ye interconnections ho gaye hain ke we can provide a really good uh productive enhancement uh tools and platforms to the entire ecosystem so dukan the concept of dukan is basically that in order to enable anybody to sell online the journey has to be extremely simple extremely painless and extremely easy and why is it important to bring people to this online economy to let them sell online because if we don't they'll simply be left behind if i am restricted to a radius outside my store for the for my market for my customers uh i will not grow beyond what i'm able to catch right now and therefore when you go online especially when all of your clients are online even the ones who are within your radius um you're going to grow and you're going to enhance you sell more sell faster improves your pricing uh and grow your customer base the whole economy grows everybody wins for that people need to be able to transition and have some tool and the mobile phone handset is the tool that has actually skyrocketed this entire usage from ride sharing to uber and with kareem and ordering from great you know places like daraz and food panda and you've got all of this stuff happening right so you've got some great organizations that have already come laid the rails and now the more apps and platforms that come they're training each other and the skill set of our user base is increasing as well so ye bhi ho raha hai sab kuch so the most important thing is how do you hold somebody's hand who is educated maybe fifth grade pass maybe less magar jiske paas ab aaj ke din mein smartphone aa gaya and uh, he knows how to use a smartphone he can use whatsapp on the smartphone she can use facebook instagram tiktok to humne inke liye 
we have to build things for them hum to unke bare mein nahi sochte zyada hum to apna sochte hain we're seeing ki yaar google facebook airbnb ye kya kar rahe hain right but we've got this whole universe of our people which is a massive opportunity to uplift and also a massive opportunity to help transition an economy and grow everybody this seems to be something that's not very urgent and i think it's extremely urgent dukan ka idea ye hai ki ek mobile phone ke app ke upar bahut si in within 20 we say like under under half a minute right you can quickly create a uh, store uh you can upload pictures of your goods from your camera or from the gallery uske andar ek puri inventory tracking management system hai that's got the whole order workflow it doesn't feel like a crm because it's meant get you're seeing on the screen what you do next and it helps you transition and saat saat humne integrations kiye hue hain we've integrated all of the ways you can imagine to pay we've integrated um all of the ways you can imagine to ship and deliver including people that you are already working with the sari integrations acche khase ho gaye aur abhi aur bhi ho rahe hain so it's a one stop shop you know so you create a website through this um we help you get orders now this is a lot of experimentations going on we have about 360000 shops not all are active so now we're trying to figure out how to make them more active how to make them more of a success and we've concluded we have to help them get orders so dukan ke andar we've built an entire ad tech piece called a marketing and when you go in there all of your clients are there as well so you see them row by row and you can send them sms's you can filter them by people who bought shoes in the last month in the dha area and you can shoot them a promo code and you get sales so you know all of that's built in a very simple easy to understand way and um you know then we have uh, connected with facebook and uh, we we actually had a partnership there a very exciting one that we'll speak about soon but we ran a, a number of ads for these small stores to help to track how many orders we're able to get them and our ad tech engine which is basically the science the ai that's trying to figure out what audiences are best for this product and this user in this area uh have really really improved so now we're able to shoot ads on behalf of a seller uh to facebook soon on google and a few other platforms by you just injecting money in a local wallet jo ki aapke liye ek ibft hai jazz cash easy pass any of the wallets you transfer it and your ad runs on facebook usko optimize karte hain and then we track your roi Okay, aapke orders are can you order so all of a sudden the small seller has very powerful sophisticated tools to analyze the success of their business all of the tools that made e-commerce a success globally so ye sari cheeze aa rahi hai inside our dukan app and you know one of the things we've seen is these SMEs in the main issue growth obstacle jo hai it's basically they don't have capital so they need capital to buy products once they buy products they're able to sell the products so especially if kuch hissa is profit we we'll reinvest karte hain apne expense pay karte hain and they're stuck in this cash flow cycle and it's very difficult for them to get loans because they're a small unknown to banks high risk undocumented right all of that but jaise aapki online sales aane lagti hain we get so much insight onto you so we can help connect financial institutions directly with these uh, small organizations who were doing great sales and who can now get a instant loan of a lakh or 80000 or 20000 5000 directly because we have data scoring experience and we've seen how that can work so all of a sudden you can inject life into this whole ecosystem and because the dukan is really built as an operating system it's a building block and dukans talk to each other so you can interconnect dukans if you connect them horizontally you can actually create your own uh, kind of um mall or like a marketplace because you've interconnected these stores this way and if you connect them vertically you actually build supply chains which sell to each other and there's a lending piece that's involved there so but the ultimate goal of dukan is to empower the small business owner and the small player in this entire industry the supply chain industry empower them with these new online tools so they can be competitive so they can do a better job so they can make more money and they can serve their clients faster and we can grow the ecosystem so this is really the mandate of the kan and this is why we are very careful that we will not charge transaction fees from sellers who sell on their own stores we can't because the moment you start doing that then you start eating into the profit margins of the entire industry and you start to change the dynamics and the little guy ends up getting squeezed the most 
So we're not taking a piece of any of the transactions in the middle. Uh, we are giving them additional tools. And those are, that's where we can make our money by giving them so much value add that they're paying small incremental amounts and they would pay much more on their own. But because we have the scale, it becomes efficient and it becomes interesting. So once these Dukan stores are created, there's an open API layer. Anybody in the ecosystem can now interconnect to them. So you take a business online, your business online and group online, all of a sudden the inventory tracking management being in sync and uh, payment purchase accounting of those transactions, uh, loans along those lines, all of that gets fully automated and you can build more things around. So the is really a platform. We've got these individual nodes that are helping people sell online, but overall it's a platform that anybody can now connect into and take advantage of the digital footprints that are being laid as our, uh, as our shops start to grow online and then take that data and move it to the next point and next kind of level and offer more things. Uh, so, you know, just to conclude, it's a very exciting time. There are about 5 million MSMEs in this country and they all need to go online. Eventually it's a matter of time, but it's very difficult because they're untrained, unskilled. We have to help train them. And the technology is fairly complicated. So, you know, we can, we can help to bridge that. But most importantly, as Dukan is building what it's doing and Rosie and, you know, Rosgar and Finja and all the other great startups are building what they're doing. It's very important for all of us to be very mindful that we need to interconnect ourselves to each other because any mature online economy has amazing interconnects because that's what helped everybody grow individually. And I think I mean, there's still some hesitation in working together. And I think we need to wipe that out completely. And when you really think about it long-term, not the short-term, you realize that when you start to play together and interconnect, everybody wins. You know, it's like a shopping mall. If you're the only store in the shopping mall, not that many people will come. But if you've got a million stores and I can buy everything, will come, even though I have a competitor there. So anyway, just want to leave it with that note. Uh, it's been a pleasure uh, speaking to everybody here. And um, if there are any questions, happy to uh, stay around and answer those. Thank right. you very much. Thank you so much, Monis. It's uh, been, you know, absolutely enthralling to just hear all your thoughts. And uh, we do realize that these are exciting times for Pakistan in the e-commerce and the fintech and the, the overall growth space. But um, lastly, I know a lot of pe people will be curious to hear probably one or two recommendations in terms of policy from your side. Um, in what 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 you the government to be helping? Yeah, you know, uh, I'm not uh, I'm 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 not an expert on what the government should be doing and should not be doing. I'm very much a proponent. Uh, just let startups do what they need to do, and. Uh, Wherever there are hurdles and obstacles in regulation, uh, would just love it if the government could be super flexible and reevaluating laws or procedures or rules that we've had for 50 years and are sort of stuck with because this is a time to innovate. And as these startups force innovation outside the government, it's going to also uh, create the rails for innovation inside the government. Right, absolutely. And uh, some very pertinent points made indeed. Thank you very much for your time, Monas. And uh, for those of you that are watching, uh, please stay tuned. Uh, this will not be all. We've got some very interesting panel discussions lined up and some very interesting speakers indeed. So with this, we're going to go on a very short break. Thank you once again, Monis. And ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. Bye-bye.